Welcome and hello to this quick start video. In this video, I want to show you how fast and easy you can connect the new MR radar scanner to TAS and how to configure this sensor very, very easily. For this, you only have to have um, uh, the sensor itself, of course. You need an um, IO-Link master. In this example, I have chosen the TBNS 4-channel device. You can also use the 8-channel or the FEN20 if you want. So, sure, first of all, you have to connect the sensor to the block module. You can see that the sensor is powered up. The lights, the LEDs are indicating this. Then, secondly, sure, you have to connect the TBN block module USB master to, the, to a laptop, to a PC via Ethernet. And then you only have to open TAS. Yeah. When opening TAS and um, starting the network scan, you will find your block module, your USB, uh, your, your IO-Link master. And by clicking on this icon, Open in TAS, TAS will open. Um, by entering the login data, the default ones, you can access the IOLink communication tab by clicking on IOLink. Here you can see immediately that the MR radar scanner is detected by the IOLink master, but by default without any IODD loaded. By Using the web search functionality, the IODD is easily downloaded to the laptop via the internet. If your laptop doesn't have any ex uh, um, network connection, you also can load um, the IODD manually if previously loaded to your PC. Now you can choose all the IOLink parameters you need. First of all, let's take a look inside the radar monitor. Yeah. The radar monitor is the tool for visualization. Here you can see actually what the radar sensor is seeing. First of all, you can use the zoom functionality to change the visible region. Yeah. So if you only want to detect the foreground of the sensor, you have to zoom in. What you can see here right now is that the sensor is detecting the camera itself and the ceiling above the camera. By scrolling down, you can see all the needed parameters. For example, here with the filter methods, you can adjust the front ground suppression, background suppression. You can adjust the field of view by changing the um, horizontal or the, uh, the vertical detection region. Uh, you can set up uh, the up to six detection radii. Yeah, in this case, the first radi radius was previously um, um, adjusted to one meter. Yeah, you can easily add a second one. So for example, by uh, changing the setting from deactivated to enter value, you can enter a value, let's say 1.2 meter. Important, those value or those values has to be entered in the unit millimeter. This setting can be written inside the sensor by clicking on right. And the result can be seen inside the radar monitor. The second radius appears, of course, is already activated because the camera is inside these one and a half meter radius. In addition to that, of course, you can also set up the detection fields of the signaling fields by giving each field two values each for distance, horizontal information and vertical information. Yeah. But of course, by changing from radar monitor to the parameter tab, you can set up also all these already mentioned parameters, but also other ones, like for example, changing the 
detection unit, changing the orientation, the mounting orientation of the device, but also changing all the switching behavior like it is defined in the smart sensor profile. Um, so you could see that it's very easy to connect and set up the radar, uh, the radar scanner. It only takes you a few minutes. And if you have any questions left, please let me know and see you soon. Bye.